really strange mutations on this one. Actually, you see... leaf that's growing out of the kale leaf. So I thought that was really strange. You see it's even like a different color. And the same thing is happening on the other side. So I don't know if this is common because I just I haven't noticed anything like this. What's also unusual it's almost looks like a flower or something right there coming out of it, protruding out. So maybe if somebody could tell me if they've had kale do this before. First time I'm noticing it on this. So it looks like a couple of leaves want to come out right here. One here, one there. like a flower or something wanting to come up right there. Yeah. Those kind of like Frankensteinish, you know, makes me makes me wonder about, you know, greens too nowadays. I mean, yeah, it's still less bioaccumulation compared to an animal that's eating this, but makes me not even want to eat this. I see things like this going on. But uh, maybe you could still make a clue me and maybe they've seen kale do this. I don't think it's normal, but um, that you all should see that. mutated kale and I'll show you actually the plant where I got this from it's just one of the leaves so maybe it's just a seed this was the kale that I, the plant that I got it from uh, yeah I kind of see the some of those characteristics there. And you see, yeah. Uh, I have a couple, these are a few different uh, varieties of kale. The one next to it is a different variety, I don't see those type of characteristics, so perhaps certain varieties are more prone to genetic DNA damage, which doesn't appear normal to me. Flowering off of a leaf what it appears to be. I've also had some other strange mutations. When I look at some of the uh, Papaya leaves, for example. This one's going through some type of uh, yellowing. Okay, for example, here, look at this. That's 
kind of strange. See how these leaves just kind of like curl up right there? Get some strange characteristics with this plant. I'll tell you what though, these flowers right here. If you've ever had a uh, cayenne pepper flower, they're, they're pretty interesting. They have like a sweet First it tastes kind of sweet and then you kind of get into it and you kind of feel the little hotness of the pepper taste to it. This kind of looks like the same variety of kale see those characteristics on it. Hey, what are you doing there, man? Just like the dinosaur kale. Just pretty good with our heat. Now this was an interesting papaya. It actually, it got cut off right here by accident. I didn't think the plant, I thought it was gonna die. So these are all new growth leaves that just came out. That's an odd looking leaf. And see how this leaf is longer than this leaf over on this side. Looks like DNA damage to me. But you want to see the freakiest thing of all? Look at this. This. Some type of. I don't know what it is. Alien to me, it's like a fungus. Doesn't seem to be hurting this tea plant here, and it's pretty much took over the container. It hasn't looks like it hasn't spread the other containers. Doesn't appear to be hurting the tea plant, so I'm not freaking out about it. But you want to see the really strange characteristic of this. Watch when this fungus, or whatever it is, I'm guessing it's a fungus, gets its water on it. It smokes, you saw that? You see that? It lets off like a smoke. Like, I don't know, maybe that's how the spore spread is when it gets wet. Crazy, huh? Well, that's just a little update from the garden.